whoa, whoa, whoa. There you go. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, baby. You just crushed it. I'm gonna come up and your jig's out, right? Yes. All right, I'm gonna get that up and out of the way. Now that was right on the bottom right of the pinfish, the huh? Yeah, he just stopped running. <laughs> You know, the sharks, this is one of the big problems that we have down here on these wrecks are sharks. But they tend to love your mutton snappers, <laughs> right? They yes. tend to eat the muttons. They don't eat the cobias, the African pompanos, the tunas. I mean, they do in other places. But when it comes to wreck fishing down here in the Keys, the mutton snapper is a bullseye for the sharks. As soon as you hook a mutton, they're on it like crazy. So it's very, very rewarding to land a big mutton and very frustrating when it gets sharked. Once you get up to that lead, I'll take the lead off for you. And this is even something you can do, you know, the way that we have our outfits rigged with the lead hanging on a loop. You could even do this yourself, you know. When you're fighting a fish, put the rod in the rod holder and take the lead right off the loop. Really simple. It's not a two-man job, but if you've got another guy that can help you with it, why not take advantage of it? Strong fish. Really strong fish. Yep. Let's walk down a little bit. Yep, yep. Come on down. And again, this is, I can't stress why it's so important to try and cover the bases and fish the meat, fish the metal, you know? We're doing it here, and some days you're gonna get the bites on the jig, some days you're gonna get the bites on the, on the bait. But by covering both of the bases, you're really lining yourself up for success. You know, these wrecks will produce all year long. Bottom fishing here in the Keys is something you can do all year long. But this wintertime bite, I'm telling you, it's something really special. A lot of opportunity for some trophy fish. You know, beautiful fish that you may not catch any other time of the year. And it's not only out here in these deeper spots, it's also on some of those shallower spots, the patch reefs, which again, we may end up fishing there. I don't know, you know, we're ready for it. We've got the chum, we've got the bait. We'll have to see how it all comes together. Take your yeah, time. Clear. Is that him out there? That's him right there. Just walk back there? Yep. It's an African. Giant African pompano. Is it? Giant. Woo! Mm -hmm. Giant. Nice. A little closer. Got right. him, brother. <laughs> Done. Woo! All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's... Nice, dude. That thing beat me up. Yeah, he did. That thing beat me up. There. All, All right. right. Woo! All right. What All a right. giant. Let's look at that. There you go. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that, look at the shoulders on that thing. Solid fish, thick. He just gets Beautiful. sideways and forget it. Look at that mouth right there. That thing just gobbled up that pinfish, just ate it up, look at that. 